Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel Rex TV. Today, we're going to be talking about the recent claims made by ZANU PF party members in Zimbabwe, calling for President Emerson Nangogwa to allow protests in the country. In a surprising turn of events, some members of the ruling ZANU PF party have publicly stated that they believe President Nangogwa should allow peaceful protests to take place in Zimbabwe. This comes as a surprise to many considering the party's history of cracking down on dissent and opposition voices. The calls for allowing protests have been largely attributed to the ongoing economic and political challenges facing Zimbabwe. Many citizens have been vocal about their dissatisfaction with the current state of affairs, including high inflation, unemployment and the general lack of basic services. The ZANU PF party members who have spoken out on this issue have emphasized the importance of upholding the democratic rights of the people, including the right to peaceful assembly and protest. They have stressed that allowing peaceful protests can serve as a release valve for the frustrations and grievances of the population. This development marks a significant shift within the ZANU PF party, which has long been associated with heavy handed tactics and repression of dissent. It also raises questions about the potential for a more open and inclusive political environment in Zimbabwe. However, it's important to note that while some ZANU PF members have voiced their support for allowing protests, the official stance of the party and the government is still unclear. President Nangogwa has not yet publicly addressed these calls, and it remains to be seen whether any concrete changes will be implemented. The calls for allowing protests in Zimbabwe have sparked a lot of discussion and debate, both within the country and internationally. Many are hopeful that this could be a step towards a more democratic and transparent political system in Zimbabwe, while others remain skeptical about the true intentions behind these statements, as always, we'll continue to keep an eye on this developing situation and provide updates as they become available. In the meantime, we'd love to hear your thoughts on this issue. Do you believe that President Nangogwa should allow protests in Zimbabwe? Let us know in the comments below. That's all for today's video. If you found this information helpful, please give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more updates on Zimbabwe and other global news topics. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.